Hey everybody, this is WITW. We're back with a 60 Buick Electra 225 deuce and a quarter. It's an all original car. Unfortunately, it's sit for, best of our understanding, four years the car has sat. Uh, car's in pretty good shape. All of it's here. I think it's missing, missing a windshield wiper blade and a battery. Uh, outside of that, everything everything's still here. Uh, we'll, we'll start with this hood. I guess the older gentleman that had it kept it parked in a carport and it was up against some kind of bush or tree. And the tip of this hood has rusted. This is that this is the worst spot we've found so far as, as rust goes. I'm going to jump to the, the, the outside of the car. It looks good. No dents. Uh, outward appearances. No rust holes uh, along the outside. The interior is all original, and while I'm thinking about it, this glass is cracked here, and that quarter glass is cracked. That's how that the the glass in the car is good. You know, and this has happened to the interior from the car sitting. Now it's got under the dash air. I'm sure it was added to the dealership when the car was bought. Power windows, uh, power seats. It's a four-door hardtop car, and you can say, well, I mean, we hadn't even cleaned the car up, but everything's here. It's got the 401 with the Dynaflow automatic, uh, I think that thing was a two-speed two -speed transmission. All that's here, and the car's been sitting so, you know, as usual, the fuel system's going to have to be cleaned out, potentially, and maybe even the carburetor rebuilt. But everything's still intact. It needs a battery. The battery's missing. Uh, like I say, that, that hood's rusty. And then there's one other. Yeah, we'll look at this side over here real quick. See, all the all the moldings on the car. See, I, as you can see, I, I think there, there had been some type of body damage there at some time. I, I can see where the Bondo's cracked. But outside of that, you know, the old car looks looks good. The two back the two back wide whites have went flat with the car sitting, and I believe they're ruined. There's actually one in the trunk. The mileage shows 88,000 miles is what it's showing. And this thing was beautiful when it was new. Miles of chrome. We'll get a good look at the back of the car here with the with the trunk down. All these these things are man, they they're sexy. Well, uh, this is the second worst spot in the car that we've found. You know, the car has sat. You know, and they, just cars sitting, just they kill them. You know, when they're not undercover, leaves stop everything up. They hold moisture, and then you get rust like this. But the, the pan itself is in great shape. It's just where this trunk, the, the weather stripping and all around this trunk had held moisture and it rusted. You know, and it, it starts along in here and goes all the way across the bottom. Like I said, a very cool car. We don't, we don't see many of these. Uh, it is a four-door, but, I mean, people still... People still love these things. We see a, a few of them at the at the car shows. The, they're very similar to the, the Impalas. But like I said, a really cool car. 401 nail head. Uh, the, what was the Dynaglide two-speed transmission. The car's loaded out. It's got AC. Doesn't appear to be factory AC, but I, I think it was installed at the dealership anyway. Hot Rod Commander. CEO. <laughs> but very, very cool car. You don't see too many of these. Uh, it's, it's unmolested. You know, unfortunately, the car has sat. That's going to be the biggest thing wrong with it. The fuel system will have to be cleaned, etc. And you know what goes along with all that. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested, give us a call. Once again, uh, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And all those are WITW Performance, one word. 
Check us out on our website, www.witwperformance, one word, dot com. 1960 Buick Electra, 225 deuce and a quarter. If you're interested, give us a call. Talk to you soon.